Okay, Year 7, welcome to your tutorial on converting percentages to decimals. And we're actually going to look at it the other way as well, decimals to percentages. And I thought this was really cool. It's kind of like a caterpillar going into a butterfly. Same thing, just a different way of representing it. So, let's have a look. Percentages are commonly used in today's society. They give an idea of proportion. So, let's see what that means. You can say, oh, I got 23 right out of a test. Okay, actually, just before we continue, all you need to do is write this bit down that I've covered in blue. The other bit is an example. Okay, so you don't have to write that down. You can say that you got 23 right in a test, but that doesn't actually really tell us much. If you got 23 questions right and the test was out of 25, you would be going great. However, if the test was out of 100, it wouldn't be as good, okay? It doesn't tell us that number as a whole, a proportion. It's just simply a raw number. So instead, we express things in percentages. So instead, if you said, I got 70% on my test, that tells us what portion of the test you got correct. And it wouldn't matter if it was out of 100 or 25, because 70% tells us of a portion, okay? Let's have a look at some examples, okay? If I want to convert a percentage to a decimal, you do need to write this down, write this bit down. If I want to convert a percentage to a decimal, I divide by 100, okay? If I have 42% and I want to convert it to a decimal, I divide by 100, but there's a cool little trick okay, that I can do. And I can simply move the decimal place two points to the right. So I've got this example down here down the bottom, 42% equals 42 divided by 100. And all I've done is I've moved my decimal point here and I've gone one, two, and I've put a decimal point, which has ended up with 0 0.42. Okay, that's how I convert a percentage to a decimal. To convert a decimal to a percentage is the opposite. I need to multiply by 100. This is done by moving the decimal point two places to the right. So say, for example, I had this decimal here. I multiply it by 100% or I move the decimal two spots to the right. So that's one, two. And I come out with an answer of 65.4%. So when I convert from a percentage to a decimal, I move two to the left. From a decimal to a percentage, I move two to the right. That's not too bad. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Let's have a look at a few examples. Express the following percentages as decimals. So I've got 30% and I need to do it as a decimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 30% again. Okay, and I remember my rule. If I'm converting from a percentage to a decimal, I divide by 100. So I move one, two spots to the left. And that gives me as a decimal 0 0.30 because I've moved my decimal and I've gone decimal point there, decimal point there. Okay, that's where my decimal point lands. So my answer becomes 0 0.30. Let's have a look at this one, 240%, 240%. This time my decimal point's here and I move one, two. So my answer becomes 2.40 or 2.4 either way. I've moved it two spots to the left. Let's have a look at this one. I've got 12.5, again I'll write it down. 12.5 percent okay I move two spots to the left one two so I have an answer of 0 0.125 because I've moved it two spots to the left this one here 0 0.4 percent this time I'm moving it two to the left I go one now, I don't actually have anything else in front of there. So when I go to it, it's almost like I'm going to an imaginary place. If you don't have any more zeros, you can assume that there could be another zero in there. OK, 
Okay, so if you get to moving your decimal point and there's no more zeros to the left, put in another one. Okay, so then my decimal would be zero point. How many zeros do I have after the decimal place? I've got one, two, and then a four. One, two, four. So the lesson to learn from that one is when I'm skipping over my decimal points, if there's not another zero there, I need to put one in. Okay, so that's converting from percentages to decimals. Let's have a look at the other way. Okay, so we have to ask ourselves, write the following decimals as percentages. So 0 0.045, all I do is I move the decimal pot spot 2 to the right. 1, 2, that becomes 4.5%. How did I know that? Because when I moved my decimal point, I came up with 4.5. Let's try this one, 7.2. Okay, right, 7.2. When I move my decimal spot, 1. Oh, now again, we've had that same problem. I don't have a zero there. 2. And I put my decimal pot there. Now, I had nothing in there, but I knew I skipped a spot. So I have to make sure I put a zero in. So that becomes 700 and 20 percent and that's it year seven that is converting decimals to percentages and percentages to decimals